Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random again, because we had a pretty good run last time. In fact, last run, I, I, it felt like, you know, that point in a movie, like an 80s underdog sports movie or something, and, you know, the underdog team is going up against the technically superior team, and it looks like all is lost. Like, they've guaranteed themselves failure, and then just like a miraculous play, a knuckle puck, if you will, Julie the cat replaces herself with Goldberg and he shoots the puck in the net and they win. That's what happened on the last run. Uh, we got very, very lucky. And also a few tactical good decisions, in my opinion at least, if I may toot my own horn just ever so slightly, uh, put us in a position where success was possible and then, you know, kind of against the odds, we eked it out and that's awesome. So, I want to see if we can repeat that today, essentially. Uh, but as a different character this time, obviously we are Judas now. There uh, are positives and negatives to playing as Judas. I'm shooting all the poop here because I want to see if uh, there's any extra money. Because I will use this three cents to play Judgment. I mean, I don't see how it could possibly be a bad thing. It's probably not going to pay out for us. In all likelihood, we will probably lose three cents. Uh, but there is a slight chance, ever so slight, that he will pay out with something like the blue candle. So Book of Belial be damned. This is actually... A very good start for us. I love Book of Belial. I would have preferred some kind of passive item, uh, but I much, much prefer Blue Candle. So I'm not taking the Spirit Heart yet, just to make, or just because I want to make sure uh, that I do finish off this floor with the uh, Spirit Heart instead of just losing it on this boss fight. It's a little bit of a slight risk uh, because there is a chance, of course, a chance that I would just die uh, by not picking up the Spirit Heart. But you know, let's pick up the Spirit Heart. I'm not going to go to the Curse Room just yet. Uh, and Blue Candle, I think, is a smarter pickup here. You saw I dismantle that boss. Uh, we're gonna have to work on our base damage as a result of not having Book of Belial, but uh, apart from that, I'm, I'm a very happy man. So, first floor, relatively okay, if only because of the Blue Candle. Our, uh, boss room item was Cat of Nine Tails. How did he fit under that? That's nuts. Uh, our boss room item was Cat of Nine Tails, which is bad. And our, um, item room was Mr. Boom, which is also, honestly, pretty terrible. But, uh, to get... Blue candle for three cents. Not even like the 15 or 7 cents that you would normally pay in a shop, which would still probably be a deal that I would go for, uh, is a pretty smoking deal, so I'm excited about that. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to, you know, stack up the advantages and, and make some good things happen here. So here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna... Oh god, I broke the, I broke the poop too early. It's okay though, we've managed to escape. There is actually a uh, key here, which I will absolutely pick up. We'll shoot the rest of the poop just in case there's some money. I may end up going to the shop on this floor, but let's just fight our boss first because we're here and we have some extra health. This is uh, probably one of the worst bosses that we can end up fighting with respect to not taking damage. It's pretty damn likely I will end up taking damage on this guy, unfortunately. You know what I'm thinking is like a really good pickup for us right now? Not that we have much control. Ah, that was really bad. Not that we have much control over it at all, but uh, I would really like to get Rage, actually. But we'll see what we get on our deal with the devil here. Maybe a One Heart Mom's Knife. Both of these are tempting ish, especially Lord of the Pit, but I really can't justify losing all of my health yet uh, when there's no way that I could, like, guarantee that I would uh, be able to get more Spirit Hearts in the future. So, as much as I would love to pick up uh, either of those. Really thought I had the ability to fly there, which is why I tried to go over those rocks. Thankfully, I was just outside of the range there. Um, X-ray goggles is free secret room, which may actually open up the opportunity for us to go to the shop on this floor, or at the very least on a future floor. There's judgment again. Maybe we want to play judgment instead and potentially pick up an HP upgrade that would make it uh, more feasible for me to pick up a. Um Oh god, be careful here. That would make it more feasible for me to pick up that Lord of the Pit if uh, indeed the deal with the Devil Room continues to kind of exist. But anyway, uh, that is a fairly good item room that I'm uh, A-OK -okay with. We probably will use one of our keys to check out the secret room. All depends on, or sorry, check out the shop. All depends what we get in here. The noose! Oh my god, that is great. It also means with X-ray goggles we can immediately go to the shop even if there's, uh, well, you know, before we go to the shop, why don't we just pick up this extra uh, four cents here, which will drastically improve our chances of being able to buy something. We'll see what we've got in there. That turned around quite quickly. Uh, and here we have the coin purse key, red heart, nothing too valuable. Um, so I will use this nine cents to actually play Judgment and see if he pays out with something. Hopefully not a space bar item at this point. Uh, an HP upgrade, a tears upgrade, anything like that would be... Uh, more suitable or a damage upgrade. I guess he can drop basically anything. You know, if he only drops consumables, more keys, whatever, I'm okay with it. Uh, but we are getting kind of down to the wire here. And we're gonna get Brother Bobby. That is two awesome pickups from uh, Judgment so far. I'm very psyched about that. I am going to sacrifice our half spirit heart at the altar of curiosity for this curse room, and we'll see what this contains, and then we'll move on. So I don't think there's any, yeah, there's nothing in here, but there's also no way out for me. Uh, to avoid losing that half spirit heart. Was it worth it? Ah, uh, you know, it was a calculated risk. 
I would love to pick up another HP upgrade, but apart from that, I, I feel pretty confident in our chances right now, as long as things continue to go reasonably well. And you know, Infestation is not my favorite item in the game. It's been showing up a lot lately for one reason or another. Uh, it's not my favorite item in the game because it requires you to get hit uh, in order to make good use of it. But I guess that that's a, a difference in you know, concept or, you know, how you conceptualize the, the item. You don't have to get hit for it to be useful. Maybe uh, you could just shift your perspective and say it makes getting hit not so bad because it also gives you some kind of offensive trade-off for it. Anyway, likely we are going to go to that shop, especially if, well, I guess it can't, uh, it still could end up bordering a secret room. It's just unlikely at this point. Uh, but we also need to get more money from the secret room first. And, you know, we didn't get money from the secret room last time, but... Uh, if I sound cross about that, then smack me in the face, because we did pick up a free flying item, which is excellent, especially since I was going to pick up Lord of the Pit. So, uh, to get a free transcendence is fantastic. Every cent that we get is a potential, uh, item from the shop. There is secret room number one. And on the Caves Par 1, with all these items, I feel very strong. Just want to take this opportunity to stack up uh, as much HP as we possibly can. So now with 15 cents, absolutely going to go to the shop. Almost want to fight greed and just get an early uh, Steam sale. But you can't always get what you want. We'll see. Maybe we'll just get something amazing instead. Like the map, which in hindsight, like as I was picking up the map, I was like, we don't need this. But uh, there is still the chance that the map will pay out for us uh, and be a good benefit for us. Especially if we end up getting the... Uh, compass in addition to it. So it's not my favorite pickup and you know in hindsight I, I wish I hadn't done it because we already have the um, x-ray goggles so it's not like we really need an indicator of where the secret room is. It's already guaranteed that we're gonna find it on every single run as long as we go to every single room. Uh, but it, I guess it's nice. It, it does once we get later in the game it'll give us an opportunity to uh, whoa scapular for free. Nice. Really lucky rooms so far. Not necessarily incredibly lucky item rooms or shops, uh, but exceptionally good uh, judgments and that good curse room. And, uh, you know, so far so good on that element anyway. Secret rooms as well, of course. We've only got one cent. We might as well play our fortune teller here, see what it pays out with Pinky Eye. So far so good, man. This has been a pretty remarkably lucky run. Anyway, I, I hope you understand where I'm coming from on the map there. Not my favorite item, but by the same token, uh, if we get the compass, it'll pay for itself if, by helping us find the room 100% certain, uh, with 100% certainty, I should say, uh, as quickly as possible. So, uh, we are fighting a champion version of Fistula here. This means it should be able to drop basically anything. I still want base damage improvers in some way, you know, like the pentagram or just uh, some substantial tiers upgrades. Uh, that being said, uh, HP upgrade would be nice, damage upgrade would be nice, hey, why not take the HP upgrade, that's fine by me. This does open up the possibility for us to get a deal with the devil later, permanent Polaroid invincibility is still on the table, and, uh, again, for the, like, fourth time in ten seconds, so far so good. I did take damage there for the first time in a little while, but, uh, the fact that it is the first time in a little while has me feeling pretty good. If we were Isaac, I'd be feeling even more confident, because the only, we don't really have any judas -y type strengths right now, because we already got rid of Book of Belial, but... Um, you know, I guess having six HP upgrades would be nicer. There's our second secret room. Bloody Penny. Tempting, but I like Pinky Eye too much, and I don't think I'm gonna end up eating shit as a result of, uh, of not having Bloody Penny. Like, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm still gonna be able to survive reasonably well. And I am going to all these rooms, because why not? Uh, you know, they could have more consumables in them, you never know. We don't have the compass, that could have been an arcade or something over there. Well, I guess it couldn't have been, but there could be a tinted rock or something. Who knows? And we need more consumables, especially, you know, keys are always useful. Bombs would be nice as well. There's our item room, we found those uh, very quickly over the course of this run so far. Now, we're not out of the woods yet with respect to where we are on this run, but um, we are in a very good position offensively, reasonably good position defensively. We'll see if this item room changes that. Ten extra bombs! Well, I was just complaining that I didn't have enough, so uh, this does give me some bombs, and I can use these exclusively to kill enemies, open doors, and um, uh, blow up tinted rocks, which is great because I do have the uh, x-ray goggles, which will allow me to find the secret room without having to use a bomb at all. So, uh, this should, you know, these bombs will go a long way versus uh, the way that bombs normally go in your typical game. Now, I'm hoping we get some uh, HP upgrade, well, not HP upgrade, but just like standard uh, red heart consumables at some point. It has been kind of a dry floor so far with respect to uh, red hearts dropping, and I'm hoping that changes right now would be a nice uh, time because we are at half health. Probably should have picked up Bloody Penny just like momentarily to get some extra HP uh, and then uh, given it back for Pinky Eye. It's not like they needed to recharge or anything like that. There's our key. I don't want to fight the boss right away. I would rather do some looking around. 
Uh, we are up to 12 bombs, two keys now, and I'm a little anxious about our health. It has me feeling a little concerned, but not in a major way yet. Although, if I take one more uh, heart or one more half heart even of damage, I'll probably feel slightly differently about that. So that's a pill. We are Judas. Pills could be bad, but who dares wins? Bombs are key. Alright, well now we have 12 keys and 2 bombs. You know, this is good enough in its own way as well. I, I would still like to have uh, more bombs now at this point, but uh, essentially we picked up 10 keys from that item room, which is cool. That that's good. I mean, uh, 10 keys will go a long way as well. Not quite as long as 10 bombs, but you know, also keys tend to be a little bit more valuable than bombs. Having keys ain't everything, not having them is, as Kanye West said. Uh, we're up to 7 cents. And now with 13 keys, it's basically a no-brainer. Uh, that I should go to the shop, even though uh, it's totally... P oh, we have to get the compass. How are we going to swing this, though? We need to get eight more cents. I doubt Wrath will be uh, really what we're looking at here. Uh, but we, we have to get that money, because the compass is such a valuable item. And especially, it would uh, make me feel a lot better about buying that map on the last floor. Right now, I feel terrible about buying that map on the last floor. Uh, because now I don't have enough gold to buy the compass, or enough money to buy the compass, which is... Uh, you know, not a good trade-off, <laughs> to put it nicely. So, uh, there's more bombs for us, and we got some more keys as well. Uh, I guess at this point we go fight the boss. We might as well shoot all this just in case there is a, a lucky nickel or something. And we see if we get Pageant Boy, because if we don't get Pageant Boy, there's no way we're going to get enough money. If we do get Pageant Boy, we can look around, uh, go through the, uh, shoot all the poop, shoot all the fire, etc., etc. Uh, but for now, uh, I feel like we're probably going to end up missing the compass on this floor, which, you know, to be fair, is the first time I've felt really negatively about something that's happened on this run. Uh, so, it's not the end of the world if we don't get the compass. It is... It, it, it puts a check and balance on our progress, though, to a certain extent. The, the, the compass is such a good every-time item. It's such a good late-game item. It starts being good, you know, very, very early. Sadly, we're not going to be able to get it. We do get a speed upgrade, sure, that's fine. We're still flying, we've got blue candle, I still need more HP, but, uh, you know, it's, it, woe be it for me to complain, considering the uh, position we're in right now. I mean, we're, we're already on the depths part one and it's only 12 minutes, which is always an indicator, uh, when you're going that fast, an indicator of, of how well things are going. So there's, uh, full health and a little bit of money for us. A little bit more money, we haven't really gotten great secret rooms after Transcendence. Not that we deserve great secret rooms after Transcendence, which is a, a fantastic item to get absolutely for fucking free. You didn't even use a bomb to get in there, so, um... You know, again, won't be it for me to complain. I'm just pointing out some potential shortcomings, some positions where uh, the run could be better, even though it's already great. So we traded a key for two more bombs. We are starting to even out on bombs and keys here, which is fine. I'm not going to play the fortune teller. Remember, we are going to be getting the, the Polaroid very, very shortly. And I think we've found the item room before the shop on every single uh, floor so far. One thing I will point out, and again, this is not really me complaining, it's just me pointing something out, is that we continue to not really have very strong base damage, which has been a theme for like 10 runs in a row here. Now, we do get technology too, so uh, feel free to just tell me to fuck off for what I just said, because this is basically a damage downgrade, but it, it obviously drastically increases your rate of fire, and it's not necessarily a, a good item, especially if you're planning on fighting Isaac and Blue Baby, because they'll create so many flies. Uh, that being said, what can I say? It's habit to pick it up. I like it a little bit, and, uh, I have, uh, you know, it's been a while since I had it last, so why don't we use that as our justification. Plus, unlimited range. It's like a very tiny version of Brimstone, uh, that people won't get mad at me for picking up. Who am I kidding? Everybody gets mad, or people get mad at me for picking up anything. Uh, we do have more than enough money to go to the shop on this floor. This has got to be a greed floor. I don't see how it could, uh, avoid being one. And I, I really, oh, that was so bad. I really, at this point, want to pick up, uh, I was going to say an Ujet. I've been playing too much Spelunky. I want to pick up more damage again. This is uh, the main crux of our problem right now, is that we're not doing superb amounts of damage. Uh, technology 2 is not going to be what sunders us if we end up failing this run. It's instead uh, just going to be a factor in it. And we're still doing quite well. We just need a, a little bit more, and maybe the shop could do it for us. Although, I'm pretty sure we're going to fight Greed, so maybe the next shop can do it for us. Uh, and, you know, on that token, or by that token, we do uh, have another nickel that we just picked up here. If only some of these nickels had showed up on the last floor, we may have been able to actually buy ourselves... Probably should have gone to the curse room before picking up that spirit heart. Um, would have been able to buy ourselves the compass, which would have been amazing, but... Anyway, we're on the depths, fairly easy floor, so I, I feel okay about playing this blood bank a few times. If only this blood bank had been on the last floor, we could uh, potentially have picked up uh, the compass, which would have been amazing as well. 
Now let's hope to get some HP back because I have uh, kind of eroded it a little bit. Probably not going to get too greedy with playing that Blood Bank just yet. We'll wait until the, the rest of the floor is cleared out because, uh, you know, as you can see, I am uh, kind of up against it just a little bit here. I can't believe that this guy hasn't died yet. There we go. Man, that is, you know, the, the damage down from Technology 2 is actually pretty noteworthy. Maybe noteworthy is not the right word, even though I think it is. Noticeable is um, perhaps more accurate. There's another penny for us. Uh, if there's an arcade on this floor, I could use that to gamble and maybe get some extra advantages. Now that is a three-bagger for that blue candle shot there. It always feels satisfying when that happens. Now we're down to one uh, whole heart, and that scares the shit out of me. So do I want to go to the shop first? Because, I mean, on the shop we're probably going to end up fighting greed. Uh, but we could also end up buying some really cheap red hearts uh, that are consumable. We shall see. And this is a, a point where maybe my cockiness got the better of me to a slight degree. I knew it was going to happen. Now, on the bright side, we do have blue candles, so it's going to be very difficult for greed to hit us. Uh, I probably should not have said that, though, because it feels like that puts me in greater risk. Well, we're done with it. We're up to 45 cents. And uh, we'll fight our boss here. I am pretty powerful. Uh, I hope that that's enough to survive and not get killed. So hopefully we're fighting uh, not a, an absolutely asshole of the boss. And, you know, Gish... Sometimes a little difficult, but uh, between Blue Candle and our unlimited range and our decent speed, I almost got in the range of that. And, uh, you know, poison damage. I feel like it's going to be pretty easy for us to uh, pull this one out. Gish is already more than half dead. We have not been touched yet, although we did get kind of close uh, to taking some damage earlier. So, uh, a couple more shots should be enough here. Don't even want to use a blue candle shot to finish the job, but I will with a little bit of style. So we don't get an HP upgrade, which is kind of what I wanted, but we do get another familiar, and a good familiar, and uh, a slowing effect that is not going to disappear anytime soon. So, we're on Necropolis. This is bad. This is where things could really end up going off the rails. Uh, we need to get Red Heart soon, and I I'm really regretting playing that Blood Bank. I really thought it would pay out. I had hoped that it would pay out with an HP upgrade. It's another bombs or key pill, which is, is meaningless right now. Uh, it could be an eternal heart in the second secret room. Oh my god, it's the best. It's the best of all secret rooms. Okay, so this makes me feel pretty good about our survivability on this floor. I can't believe... Okay, first off, I can believe I took damage on this room. But I can't believe that first blue candle shot hit nobody. That is nuts. And uh, we're going to be fighting mom's... Uh, sorry, mom on this floor, not mom's heart. And I am, of course, uh, desperately hoping that we pick up an HP upgrade. We just haven't quite gotten enough of them uh, on this run so far, which is unfortunate because you're playing as Judas. We haven't even taken any deals with the devil, and we're still fairly low on health. Uh, but we should be okay. We'll see what this pill does. We can afford to take it now. Tears Down is not the end of the world yet. Uh, I don't think that... It, it may affect Brother Bobby, but I don't think it really affects Technology too. The Stars takes us uh, to the secret room. We'll just teleport there. Uh, and we'll, oh, that's the item room, sorry, and that's Harlequin Baby. So, Harlequin Baby, again, solid pickup. It's looking like this is going to be one of those familiar type runs. Can I just, is this like the greatest shortcut in all of Isaac? Can I just walk directly into that mom fight? I can. I'm not going to, though. There's our, yeah, I mean, okay, I'm going to buy the, um, the 9 volt, even though Blue Candle replenishes itself. This, you know, believe it or not, is almost like making Blue Candle fire twice as quickly, because you do start with, uh, it, it basically, every time you use it, it restarts at being half-charged, which is pretty nice, actually. Uh, it was bad damage, but again, tons of red hearts on this floor for me to replenish my health. Now we're just exploring the remainder of the floor to uh, basically see if there's any consumables that I'd missed. Please, don't be such a dick. I imagine this mom fight is going to be pretty easy. Uh, this is a slightly scary room, but that's okay. One more. Okay, and we are going to get back to full health here, although I could pretty quickly lose it if I botch it. Uh, one more should be good enough here. We, I'm still, I'm hoping there's like, a, I don't even know, like a library or something at the end here, or an arcade, although I'm not really sure what I would, oh, there is an arcade. I'm scared, though, because, you know, I could play the Blood Bank, and there's so many red hearts that I could easily replenish my health before the end, or before we fight Mom. Uh, but... I'm worried that I'll, like, get hit by a blue spike or something on my way back, and that'll, like, end the run in the, the least ceremonial way possible. Uh, but anyway, for now, let's just take things as they come. This is our last room before that mom boss fight, which I think is going to be reasonably easy. With Blue Candle, you can kind of just abuse... I, I hate to call it an exploit. People are going to get pissed, but you can kind of abuse an exploit and, uh, you know, shoot the fire at the sides of the fight to, to speed things up and put yourself at less risk. Um... 
Sure, let, let's play this Blood Bank, and I'm going to get real funky with it. The other benefit here is that this is going to give us uh, the opportunity to uh, get a ton of flies, which will help us on that fight against Mom, obviously. Uh, now, the way I could do this, by the way, is I could run into the... or I, I, Oh my god, seriously, flies? I was just talking you up as being so beneficial. Now, is this a blue spike room? Yes. Okay, so we're going to just... We're, we're playing on the razor's edge here. That's okay, though. And there's another full red heart there. And I'm not going to go back to that blood bank. I gave it the old college try. We could do this over and over and try to snag one HP upgrade, but I really don't trust myself to not get hit. Let's just go fight Mom instead. Anyway, we're going to finish this floor off. I don't anticipate Mom being a major problem. It sucks that we don't have the compass. That would have made such a big difference. And it's especially crazy because we have like 52 cents now. It's, that was the last floor where money was actually an issue. Uh, now, it's, it's not at all. Does the blue candle actually benefit from 9 volt at all? It seems like it's charging at exactly the same rate, and to be honest with you, it seems like it's they're compensating by making it take longer to fire. Like, I have to hit the button twice in the right direction in order to send it. I don't know what's up with that. That was an easy fight, though. And we get a, um, tears damage, or, or just damage, an HP upgrade. Uh, and we got the Polaroid. We don't have even close to permanent Polaroid invincibility, but that's okay. Down to the next floor, and I'm gonna take a sip of this coffee. Womb XL is good. Let's look at where our boss rooms could be. I think left is where I'm going to go first, then right, and then down right. And my, my hunch is that it's going to be down right. Down right frustrating, one could say. Uh, this seems like an easy room. I just wanted to check out the uh, arcade, or sorry, the uh, secret room in there. See if there was, uh, you know, an epic fetus or something like that. Not that that shows up very often. This is my gamble to see if the boss rooms are here. They're not. Um... Yeah, let's open up this golden chest. Ah, it's teleport. Well, now I just want to teleport in and, like, take Blue Candle again and leave, but, um, it's not a good use of our resources, unfortunately, because we still have to fight through the room anyway. So, I guess after we finish this off, I will at least take teleport. Man, okay, Technology 2 is doing more damage now, like, a, a lot more damage than it used to be. At least that's how it feels. Uh, and, you know, I've, to a certain extent, I've come to trust my Isaac sense after, uh, the amount of time that I've played the game by this point in my life. Uh, I'm not even going to worry about Blue Candle too much here, because Loki is just going to kill himself, essentially, uh, with the bomb flies. Maybe I'll throw one or two in there, because they do do a lot of damage. Coffee maker's going off. That's how you can tell I'm, you know, legitimately drinking coffee and not a 1 p.m. whiskey or something like that. Not that I would be in a position to judge you if you were, by all means. Have a second one for me. Uh, so, you know, we're eroding Chubb pretty quickly here, and it's really nice to have the slowing effect in Gish as well. So, uh, decent fight. We'll pick up Teleport and uh, then leave. So I'm thinking now, uh, upper right is a reasonable likelihood for where we are going to find our boss rooms. Now, we have no opportunity for a deal with Devil Room uh, at this point. I believe, anyway, unless maybe we teleported out of the uh, Mom's Heart boss fight. No, but then the deal with the Devil Room still only gives you Shoal, so... Uh, yeah, that's the problem with the Womb XL or Utero XL. Uh, you do find yourself in a position where, you know, if you need something like Mom's Knife desperately, too bad, tough luck, you're not gonna get it. That being said, um, you know, there's benefits to these XL floors as well, like having to do way less floors. And this is actually one of the situations where the map is pretty effective. It's not as good as the Compass. The Compass would save us a lot of time, in all likelihood. Uh, but, it's something. So this is also not the correct way. I knew I was going to take damage there. Uh, oh, and I did not know I was going to take damage there. That's that, that was a kicker. I really think map should show you the second secret room. Call me crazy. Um, that seems like it would be a, a reasonable request to have. But, you know, I'm not going to complain too hard about it. They, we're going to be able to get back to full health. And now I'm thinking that it's down right... Although, you know, it could also be up upright, so I know there's only one room that we have to go to to confirm that suspicion or deny that suspicion, so that's what I'm going to do right here. And we'll go through another room, maybe we'll get some kind of consumable to compensate for my time loss, whatever. Even if we don't, we're probably not going to lose anything on here. In fact, we picked up another red heart, which is going to make things easier for us. And uh, now, I'm I, 99% sure it's got to be on this right side here. Shouldn't say 99 because Isaac will will f with those assumptions on a regular basis, uh, but very confident, shall we say? And this is kind of like the this is forgive me for sounding negative. This is kind of like the down period of an Isaac run. This is where you're just waiting to see where uh, where you're gonna place. This is like if you're on a round robin tournament and you you made it into the playoffs, but you just kind of squeaked in in like a middling position. That's another bombs or key pill. My God. 
Uh, and now you're, you're watching like the big powers fight it out to see who you're going to play in the next round. And that's going to determine a lot of uh, your chances. So right now I'm waiting to see if we get one great item from our, uh, our first boss room here. And if we don't, then I'm going to find myself with a slightly uphill battle simply because we just don't have that many HP upgrades. This is indeed our boss room. So 99% confidence comes through, as one might expect it to, given the confidence there. And we're missing some health, so I'm going to go back up here just to make sure. And I'll pick up this health, and hopefully we'll fight Skolex. I actually wouldn't mind fighting... Oh my god, I went to this room by accident. Don't let this be your legacy! Oh my god, okay. Of course the, the accidental room is tough as well. Couldn't just be easy. Enemies explode, please. Thank you. Slightly. So it turns out, unless this guy drops some red hearts... Yeah, and he drops a bomb. Uh, I would have been substantially better off to just walk into that boss room. But we'll go up here and get what little health remains. We do have scapular. We do have um, uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility once we get down to half a red heart, which we can now. It's a little scary, uh, but, you know, presumably we'll fight a boss that will give us some HP. Not necessarily an HP upgrade, but some consumable red hearts. Uh, and then we'll move on. I really, really do not want to fight Death at this point, because I worry that he's the most likely to kill me. I'd rather fight the Fallen. Okay, well, actually, I would rather fight Death than Conquest. Uh, in fact, 9-Volt does not... Oh, god damn it. 9-Volt does not work on uh, Blue Candle at all. Where are you at, Conquest? You got two turntables and a microphone. Oh, okay. Uh, that was bad damage. And Scapular is not going to save my uh, save me. I actually feel like this is where things are going to fall apart. It's really unreliable to dodge. Um, oh my god, to dodge the uh, beams of light. I, you just have to get over the rocks. But you know, are you going to be able to do that quickly enough every single time? Absolutely not. And especially since I'm actually destroying the rocks, trying to bomb this dude. Not to mention, you know. Uh, really annoying to have to deal with the uh, the purple shots that he shoots out uh, and just dodging everything. I'm not even doing very much damage. Ah, yeah, there we go. Well, that looked like a good run. Uh, bad play on that final floor, plus, uh, you know, combined with the lack of HP upgrades, kind of sucks for me. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Kind of a counterpoint to the last one, but we'll try to regain some momentum in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.